Hi, my beautiful baby. How's it going on this gorgeous, beautiful God bless day in Mr. Rogers neighborhood? I'm so fucking happy to see you guys. Guess what? Chicken butt. <laughs> Just kidding. Guess what? I'm done moving. I'm so happy. You guys, my heart is so full of joy. I fucking miss you guys. Thank you for the beautiful kind messages. And yeah, so my beautiful baby, I did a poll and I asked y'all what you guys want to hear from your beloved, from your loved one, from your crush, boo thing. And you guys voted on a channel's love letter. So without further ado, let's get deep down into your booze heart space. Shitty don't tell Tara down at finance. He doesn't tell Jerry, his nosy ass neighbor. The only motherfucker he tells is the bartender one tequila bottle down in Mexico, okay? So, thank you for liking, subscribing. Make sure to share these videos with your auntie, your crazy ass cousins. I really appreciate it. It would really help me bring out more videos for you, okay? All right, my beautiful baby, let's get into it. Pile number one, my Barbie who chose this gorgeous, beautiful donut. How's your person on your mind thinking about you deep, deep down? in the halt space. Isn't it fucked when you're on a calorie deficient, 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 and you can't even eat shit, but you just like buy fake stuff to make up for it? Yeah, that's the story of my life. Okay, okay, let's get into it. Channeled love letter, oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay. I already broke up with you five times in my head. You pissed me off so much, but I still love you so much. This is the most testing evolutionary love I ever had. And then the rest is blank. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Wow. Let's read this one more time. I already broke up with you five times in my head. You pissed me off so much, but I love you so much. This is the most testing evolutionary love I have ever had. Wow, you guys. Okay, so you guys are well on your way in this union. You guys know each other. You've been knowing each other, so you need an energetic, like, what the fuck is going on here? And obviously, you guys are mirroring each other. Okay, let's see what the T is. Like, honestly. So tell me how do I feel? Oh, say, yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, Daniel. Damn, Daniel. <laughs> Damn, Daniel. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, look at. Oh, wow. I never noticed this in my whole entire life of existing as Cherish Love Bear in this world. Wow, you guys, look at this. Like, look at. I've never seen his spirit going into the spirit world before. You know, in my traditions, Nihiawiwak, we are born with the uh, aerial bolus, people call it. We just say Northern Lights. But that's our ancestors dancing with us. That's the buffalo's dust dancing with the buffalo. That's our, that's our stories up here in North America. Um, they have known to been touched down when they have ceremonies. They touch the land when we're having our ceremonies, you guys. This is so fucking beautiful. This is the most beautiful ten of swords I've ever seen. Because look at you guys. We're getting this is the most testing evolutionary love I have ever had. Like, look, you're bringing this guy through the trials and tribulations. He's healing from your guys's fights, um, your disarrays, your miscommunications, your anything like this world is not all sunshine and rainbows you guys and lots of folks need to understand that we're gonna go through some trials sometimes in our relationships that bring us closer to god and that is what i'm seeing here so through the dismays the corruptions and the, the slight heartbreaks this person's becoming stronger in his wisdom and closer to god because of it you are bringing this guy closer to union with divine within and that is how every relationship should be you guys it's a reflection of us being closer to God. Cause guess what? We are born alone, we die alone. And you're such a beautiful, tranquil cup of that. You know, did you guys ever watch Water, Water Boy with Bobby Boucher and he has that one drop of like aqua, which is like super divine. That is how I'm feeling. This guy's feeling refreshed. You're that one drop of aqua divine or fucking Michael's secret stuff. Did you guys watch the original Space Jam when all those 
little Looney Tunes are fiending for Michael's secret stuff. That water, that's like you guys. Honestly, this is how you guys make that guy feel. Like just really refreshed and new in this bridge with God. Does that make sense? It's a high money can buy. This is fucking beautiful. Wow, this is the most beautiful ten of swords I've ever seen. It makes me want to cry because it brings me closer to my ancestors when I see this. It reminds me of the Northern Lights. So poetic, so beautiful. This transformation you guys are going through with him getting so mad at you, it like brings him back to himself and he's like, but wait, I'm becoming stronger because of this. She's making me a better man. Wow, you guys, like obviously this relationship was like, get started, not get started, get started, not get started. It's like you guys are very young. Whoever picked pile one, you guys are young in your relationship journey, young in uh, dating, young, you're just very, this is like uh, new to you, a long-term relationship. So it's a lot of beautiful learning. Life's a dance you learn as you go. Sometimes you win, sometimes you follow. So the thing is, my baby, like you guys are definitely transitioning out of a recent breakup, a big fight, a separation that changed his life and changed your life. And you guys are trying to now maneuver into more beautiful, calm waters. What the fuck is that? It looks like the same guy with the long white hair. Wow, beautiful. I love white hair. So yeah, you guys are definitely maneuvering into some more beautiful, gorgeous waters. And this is so gorgeous. And it's really funny. <laughs> I was swimming in the ocean like five days ago with my, <laughs> I forced one of my best friends, Hector, to jump in the ocean because he has a fear of, because he almost drowned in this specific spot in the ocean. And he said when he was drowning, these seals came up to him, but they were going to save him. I told him, bro, they were going to save you, fuck. <laughs> he has a fear of seals. Anyways, I forced him to go into the ocean to, to his neck, that same spot. And this, these seals, these three seals came up to us in close proximity. And he's like, Cherish, there's seals, there's seals. And I was like, I was like, there. See, are you calm now? Are you calm? They're nice. They're loving. They're just looking at us. They're protecting us. Can't you feel them? Can you feel them? And he's just like, and he calmed down and now he like faced, he conquered his fucking fear seals. Anyways, that's just a sorry about that. No, 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 I ain't motherfucking sorry. So yeah, so you guys. You guys are transitioning into smoother waters, evolving into greater souls, greater spirits, professionals, and your guys' love union, okay? With one another. So that's gorgeous. There's obviously some fucked up shit that's going to have to be wrangled if you want to the, this to work long term. This is very tragic looking. <laughs> this is some, holy fuck. Yeah, so obviously there's a lot of ego death that needs to go on for this to really solidify. You guys, I'm not gonna lie, this relationship is going to kind of take a while to catch its wind, to catch its grounding. It's gonna take a while for y'all to both catch each other's grounding to walk together holding hands. You guys, this is a this is a relationship that was obviously meant to really come into your life for you guys to become stronger versions independently of one another. There's going to be coming up, you guys are coming through one cycle, busting through these and healing from this recent breakup you guys had. You both are both healing from this. So you guys are transitioning into a smoother cycle, into a different cycle in your guys' relationship where you're recognizing patterns that are no longer serving both y'all toxic patterns he has as well as things that you might have that you need to heal because this is definitely a mirrored relationship with a lot of ego death that needs to happen you guys in order for it to take the long term the long term marriage you, there's a lot of cobwebs that need to be recognized toxic traits within one another that y'all need to heal and release so that's very beautiful so let me see what else it feels. So I'll grab some feeling cards. See how your person's feeling deep down about you, deep down in his heart space that he doesn't tell Janet Jackson when he's singing to Rhythm Nation in the bathroom. All right, okay, let's get some feeling cards. How does he feel about you? I feel like it's toxic at the moment. Uh, well, no shit, Sherlock. I just finished saying that. Okay. 
<laughs> I promise I'll put out ASAP if you forgive me. I promise I will put out ASAP if you forgive me. Man, I need to improve the lighting for you guys around here. Like, the lighting kind of sucks. I promise I'll put out ASAP if you forgive me. See what I mean? Remember I said toxic traits that you, you guys both are, like, healing and breaking up and making up? The only way that this relationship's gonna work if you guys really reflect on what needs to be healed within both of each other. Because you guys are mirroring each other. I will always love you till I go back home and take my breath last breath I love you wow you guys that's some deep ass shit this love is very very deep you are an enigma you are so effing surreal you are an enigma you are so effing surreal wow everyone's jealous of me because they want you everyone's jealous of me because they want you they want your fine ass they want your fine ass this guy's very enamored with your body I'm in love with the shape of you Ed Shireen <laughs> What is this one? Secretly love you. A little bit in love with you. Oh my gosh, you guys. This guy's so in love with you. Fucking in love with you. Through this separation, through this breakup, he's still, there's so much big love here still. So much big love. Mr. Hisagitoin. I work hard to distract myself from you. I work hard to distract myself from you. Wow, you guys, this is crazy. We're not starting a brand new life until I say we're starting. We are not an item until I say. Wow, you guys, this is crazy. This is so crazy. There's a lot of ego death that needs that is going on and that is going on, actually. A lot of ego death that's happening here. Now, let's see what your spirit guides and ancestors have to say about this relationship also. There's so much depth in this union, you guys. Obviously, he's like, I already broke up with you five times in my head. Like... <laughs> but I love you so fucking much. You piss me off so much. Like, you guys, this is crazy. Let's see what your ancestors and Creator God have to say about this union. Thank you, Creator God and ancestors, for this beautiful union that's happening. Okay, let's read. This one says, You are breaking a pattern with your partners. Okay, so whether it's codependency, being a control freak, um, really fucking overdoing it you guys are breaking this pattern with your partners so this guy this love was a life-changing love because you guys are breaking a toxic trait that you did not even know that you had or existed okay so this is beautiful this is what relationships are meant to be brought into our lives for is to teach us what still needs to be healed within us whether it's past life contracts or this life contract drink your tea your chamomile tea. Watch Tyler Perry and love yourself at the moment. Wow. Okay, so they're just saying through this transition and through this breakup and through learning more about yourself, just do a lot of self-love, you guys. And I know how hard it is because trust, I know how it is to have to wait on the love of your life at the moment like it's not it's just feel the motions of your heart also anything that you feel in your heart whether it's missing longing sadness really lay in bed with yourself and feel it and go through the motions don't try to cover it with visiting too much people or partying just really lay in your bed and really ask yourself self how's my heart feeling and if it's this deep ocean love feel it if it's heartbreaking feel it because when you resist that whatever your heart's feeling that's where the pain comes in because resistance is pain okay what do we have here this is your sign to let go and let down your guard baby you're safe so please love away so this is your ancestors really saying this is a safe love so like i said if you're feeling a very big ocean love in your heart for this person just just feel it who gives a fuck feel it and then this one says um blocking your blessings with this karmic feel whatever you need to feel in this relationship you guys and let it be don't judge don't judge yourself and take the lessons in and this is what you need to know in this very moment you guys this is definitely a relationship that was meant to come into your life to teach you more about yourself i already broke up with you five times in my head you pissed me off so much but i love you so much this is the most testing evolutionary love i have ever had and at the bottom of the deck here you guys we have don't water yourself down for no motherfucker let him meet you up here so you're doing all your work your shadow work and hopefully he is too this is a lot of free will so let's get some advice of for you before bouncing out this is how he feels twin flames and soulmate <laughs> 
Did you see this fucking jump right out? This is crazy. So baby, baby, this is a soulmate. This is a soulmate and you have this free will right now to decide because you guys are going through some karmic cycles really hella bad right now, like fucking bad. Some karmic cycles that are kind of painful that you can make it through the rain with. You just got to be patient and you got to really self-reflect on the shadows that you have also that he has and communicate in a healthy diplomatic way. Okay. And definitely understand this is a free will choice. Are you ready to work through these trials and tribulations with him? Are you thinking that it's good to throw in the gloves? This is definitely an opportunity up to you because this is a soulmate. And you guys are going through karmic cycle right now. And you will go through one again. <laughs> okay? I love you so much and I'll see you next time on Beautiful Love Tarot. beautiful baby how's it going on this gorgeous beautiful god bless day in mr rogers neighborhood i'm so happy y'all because you guys are here with me on this gorgeous god bless day and honestly thank you for loving me subscribing liking every little thing you guys means so much to my heart and soul and i just love you and thank you from the bottom of my big heart so thank you. I love you. All right. So my beautiful darling, I did a poll and I asked y'all, what do you guys want to hear? What do you guys want for a picket card? So the winner, winner chicken dinner was channeled love letter. Okay. So let's get into your channeled love letter. Number two, my beautiful baby who chose pile number two, my boo boo, my boo thing with the purple cupcake and the, I don't know what color fluorescent flowers for, I don't know this color. So let's get into it. Chance out love letter from the love of your life. Just kidding. I don't know if the love of your life. Let's get into it though. All right, here we go. If you think I don't love you, I love you so much. All I do is work so I don't feel the pain of wanting to hold you. I hold you in my head, in my dreams every night. I'm in love with you. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys know what song I'm channeling right now? This is the song that I'm motherfucking channeling. Wow. Everything I do, everything I do, I do it for you. You know who sings that? <clears throat> Brian Adams. And every freaking wedding in the early 90s because the Robin Hood movie came out, you guys, is everything I do, I do it for you by Brian Adams. Please listen to that song because that is exactly how your person's feeling deep down in his heart space. And in motherfucking fact, watch the movie Robin Hood with Kevin Costner. Damn, that, that guy is a fine white guy, seriously. Even him in The Bodyguard. The Bodyguard is one of my favorite movies in the world because at the end, Whitney runs into his arms and they live together and they're together forever. So honestly, you guys, listen to everything I do, I do it for you by Brian Adams because this is how your person's feeling about you deep down in his heart space because look at are you fucking kidding me are you kidding me if you think i don't love you i love you so much all i do is work so i don't feel the pain of wanting to hold you i hold you in my head i hold you in my head in my dreams i hold you in my head in my dreams every night i'm in love with you this motherfucker imagines big spooning you and just holding you with his big ass biceps and just falling asleep with you. And he doesn't care if you snore. He doesn't give a shit if you lose your breath sometimes in the middle of the night, he has to shake you. You know what I mean? Like this guy loves you. This guy loves you. He don't care if you accidentally release some gas in the middle of the night, he ain't gonna bring it up. This guy loves you. Like you can do no wrong. If you slobber on your pillow when you wake up soaked in shit, he still loves you. He cannot see anything more beautiful in the world, even if you wake up looking like Day of the Dead. <laughs> okay? He imagines holding you. Oh my gosh, you guys, this guy is so hard up for you. He's fucking desperado for you. Everything I do, I do it for you, Brian Adams. <laughs> kidding. Okay, go away now. Click off. Fuck off now. You don't need anything else said. This is so crazy, you guys. This is some beautiful love. I am really digging this energy. That's probably like why I was like, I'm so excited. I never say that before I pick a card. Like maybe like three times before. That's it. Okay, so we got two. I'll just flip these really quick. So tell me why do I feel so sad? Wow, unconditional love. 
You guys are at a distance. You guys are at a distance. It's hard. It's tough. I'm seeing long distance. No matter what throw through the rain, there's this unconditional love. There's this unconditional love. You go about your day. You do your chores. You work nine to five. You raise them kids. If you don't have kids, your dog, your fur babies. And there's just this undying love. There's this unspoken love. Like, you guys just have this love. He's on his grind doing his thing. You're doing your thing. And it's just like you guys have this unconditional love no matter what. Even if he might be talking to other chicks during this long distance shit and you might be entertaining a friend or two, there's just this undying unconditional love. You both put each other on a pedestal and you guys both at the end of the day, you are the one. You are the one, you are my home, you are my safety, security, stability. You are the home I've never had, Casey and Jojo, all my life. Wow, you guys, this is some stable, deep ass, like this is some deep ass stuff here. Like, it's a long distance thing because come on, this is fucking long distance 100%. Like, this guy loves you so much, he works so hard, just, he wants to hold you. There's a physical longing. You guys are already accomplished 100% with the, with the owning each other's hearts. No doubt about it. Emotions and spirit, you guys own that, like 100%. You won, and he won with loving you. You guys both have each other's hearts, like 100%. There's no doubt or question about that. Like, if you need a confirmation to see if he feels the same way you do, the thirst is mutual. It's just the only thing now that's cock blocking your guys' union to solidify is the physical distance. This guy wants to wrap his arms around you, XXX Tenacion. Like, this guy really wants to, like, and I know lots of folks are like, that's not how you said that. That's how I've been motherfucking saying it forever, okay? And I change. So yeah, so honestly, you guys, this is like, honestly, how he feels. He just wants to wrap his arms around you by XX. Okay. So this is the song I want you guys to check out is Arms Around You featuring Sway Lee, XX Tenacious and Little Pump. It's really fucking great, you guys. I hope I don't get copyrighted for playing two seconds. But honestly, arms around you. You guys have it all good in the hood when it comes to this emotional love connection. This is something you don't share with anybody in the world and he doesn't share with anybody in the world. So the only thing at this point that's keeping you guys from coming into union is the physical distance, okay? So let's see what more the ancestors have to say about this because wow, you guys, this is some deep, deep love. Love as deep as the ocean. Like you guys are getting all the damn, all the good songs here. That safe, high vibrational love that is so foreign to you is here now. Aww. I'm gonna cry, you guys. I'm gonna cry because honestly, that safe, high vibrational love that is so foreign. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> This is so beautiful, you guys. If you've never grown up feeling like you belonged or had a home, you're definitely gonna cry at your guys' wedding. You guys are gonna look into each other's eyes and cry like babies. You might as well not wear makeup. Maybe just wear fake eyelashes and shit. Wow. This is so fucking beautiful. 2022, the, the year of soulmates and twin flame united. Stop micromanaging the universe, you fucking psycho control freak. Let go and let God. So if you've been thinking like, oh, he doesn't text me all the time, or I just hate this, like the, you know how we like to tend to try to control situations and shit like that? Like I'm, I'm guilty for this. Whenever I get this, honestly, you guys, it just puts me in check because I am a fucking psycho control freak. And especially of like past relationships that I've had because I do, my house is full of Capricorn. All my houses are full of Capricorn and Capricorns are control freaks. So definitely chill out. Like just let go and let God and let this love be. Just let it be. Accept that you guys are at a long distance and you guys have to love each other like this for a bit and go about your day. And at the end of the day, just know that you guys have this unconditional love that you both don't share with nobody walking this planet, just each other. Okay? I love that fucking card. I love it. And then at the bottom we have I'm blue, dabba dee, dabba die, dabba dee, dabba die. Let's get some more feeling cards, how he's feeling about you. We all know you kids love each other, you little rascals. We all know this. Like, like, come on, you guys got the best card for love, like unconditional love. This is like a marriage happening if you guys have the patience to wait. This is a marriage. This is like a lifetime love. I don't want to 
wait anymore. I want to live with you. Wow. How bigger of a clarifier could we get you guys? Don't you love synchronicities? I fucking love when the, the powerful messages come out just adding to each other like butter. I don't want to wait anymore. I want to live with you. See what I mean? This physical, this guy wants to take you down to pound town three times a day. He wants to make love to you. Like that one part on 300. You guys remember that movie 300 where he's like, this is Pata. Kicks that guy in the chest. Um, I tried to do that at a bar a couple times and it worked. So, you guys, I don't want to wait anymore. I want to live with you. <laughs> I'm just kidding about that. But that, remember that movie 300 when they're making love in the slow motion black and white? And it's so beautiful. Like, we'll never make love again. Oh my gosh, that's another good one, Alicia Keys. Like, we'll never love again. And they make this beautiful black and white love, especially with Gerard Butler's fine ass. I don't want to wait anymore. I want to live with you. This guy wants to make sweet, sweet love to you with the black and white videos. Man, fucking YouTube that part if you said please no get a visual to know what I'm talking about it's the most poetic beautiful love any woman I, I every woman I pray experiences like that's the earth shaking life shaking you fall on the floor and do the chicken in spasms because the orgasms were back to back you know what I mean okay what else do we have here pocketbooks uncalled for you deserve a man with a hundred mil this guy works all the time because he knows that you deserve all the rubies golds the hundred horses to give to your dad this guy really fucking knows that you're a prize he sees your worth i know your worth i know your worth and you deserve a fucking good fine ass man and that's what i'm working to be every single day because i love you Wow, you guys, this is some deep ass shit. Damn, we start off the, we started, this is very beautiful. I am jealous of every man I see you speaking to. So perhaps on social media, he stalks your life on the daily, obviously, because he has a spank bank. We all know he has a spank bank. So it's like, he's jealous of every man he sees on your comments, like on your pictures and shit. He definitely keeps tabs on your ass. And then it just, he's fired up and shit. He's shitting on the toilet, going through your newsfeed, and it fires him up. <laughs> he's like, ah! let me see here. My fat Albert nudes. So he might be insecure about his looks. Okay, whenever this pops up, it's like he's insecure about his looks. He's insecure about his looks, okay? Some men don't even do social media, which is like such a turn on to me because the hottest men never do social media. You look like my future ex-wife. Wow. This motherfucker, just kidding. This is actually a love. This is a cute little teasing card just to say you look like my future ex. He, I, he's a jokester. Your person has to be, be a damn good jokester because when this pops up, it's all about razzing you saying, we're going to get fucking married, okay? Like it or not, I'm marrying your ass. So he likes to joke with you. Good, pro like you need someone who, he's a good, like if he is such like, you guys keep it going, the banter and shit, that's going to add to your love life. Because I'm getting, he's already a good fucker. So if he's a good joker around her, that's even some bigger big dick energy. What else do we have? We didn't, we don't like her. She ain't our friend. So anytime you might get into fights with like anybody, period, this guy has her back 100%. Like we don't fucking like her. She's not our friend. He won't talk to her either. He'll like walk past her nose in the air. Homer Simpson style. <laughs> when he, that one episode. Okay, so this guy definitely is so in love with you. Like, you want that. You want that in a man. You want a man to, like, when you go to your basketball games or when you go to the mall or when you have to go attend the beach and shit and you see someone who did you dirty, you want... And she's a fake-ass bitch and she's like, hi, to your man. You want him to look the other way, to swerve a bitch. Like, that's honor. You do not dis honor my fucking queen, my baby mama, my wife, and expect that hey, phony fake fucking hi. So this guy has your back 125%, okay? He's your ride or die, he's your emperor, he's your king. And that's how he treats you. Like, we don't like that bitch, she ain't our friend. So yeah, this is some beautiful, unconditional love. Y'all are gonna go on and have that beautiful white picket fence house or the freaking dream condo of your dreams in NYC. Whatever. You guys are going to live your best, beautiful, most more romantic story novel life that you've ever dreamt of together. It's just a matter of holding on, being strong, and letting go of control because I know how hard it is, trust my baby, how hard it is to like have a long distance relationship and solidify love. Like it's a pickle. It's a pickle. People don't talk about it, but long distance, you guys, is 
quite the test. It's just you got to release a little bit more control and just go with the flow. Because, you know, you've never experienced such a home, such a stable love. And baby, that safe, high vibrational love, that feeling at home, that is so foreign to you, it's here with him. It's here with him. So don't psych yourself out. Don't self-sabotage. Don't psych yourself out. And no, just go with the flow. Go with the flow. Fucking go with the flow, okay? Let's read this one more time, because I love this. I love this, <laughs> I love it. If you think I don't love you, I love you so much. All I do is work so I don't feel the pain of wanting to hold you. I hold you in my head and in my dreams every night. I'm in love with you. Wow, you guys, this guy imagines holding you 24 seven. Remember, listen to that song, Everything I Do, I Do It For You, Brian Adams, and XX Tenacious arms around you featuring Sway Lee and Little Pump, okay? Let's see how long it's going to take or what's gonna happen when he comes back or when you guys finally unite. Let's see what's gonna happen when you guys finally unite on this physical earth because it's already here. Because remember, there's no such thing as timelines. But let's, everything that we envision, you guys, law of attraction comes true. Every single big love of my life I attracted. It was already in my mind. Also, it's also ingrained from before we come here. How is this love going to go when Boothang comes back? Physically you reunited, you guys. Reunited and it feels so good. Whoops, too many. How is this love going to go when you guys physically finally move in together and reunite? Because you both want to live with each other. You both want to start this beautiful family. Like, honestly, how is it going to go when they physically link up? A lot of resilience. This is gonna take a process. Ooh, damn, that one flew the fuck out. Wow, a lot of working together, a lot of, you guys are gonna have to have a lot of resilience. You guys are gonna have to really work together to make this work. But you guys, it's going to be happy. You guys are gonna have some damn good times. Let the good times roll. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> you guys are gonna have some great, beautiful times with your marriage, with your relationship, with your family. <sighs> this is beautiful. As long as you guys always communicate and work together, you guys will always be the A team, okay? Look at this. And at the bottom, we have this is going to be a stable, stable union. Very stable, very stable, okay? Very fucking successful relationship you guys are gonna have. If you want the marriage, the kids, the dogs, the big fucking house downtown, you guys will have everything. It's going to be a stable, beautiful relationship. You just have to hang tough. Hang tough and let go and let God for now, okay? Because physical distance, what the fuck are you gonna do? You can't force nobody to try hurry, okay? I love you so much and I'll see you next time on Beautiful Love Tarot. Hi, my beautiful baby. How's it going on this gorgeous, beautiful, God bless day in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. I am so happy. I'm done moving, so I'm just sending you so much love through the camera. Thank you for all the loving affirmations. I love you so much. I love you so, so much. Thank you. Thanks for liking, subscribing, always the positive comments. I love you so much. And without further ado, let's get into your love letter because honestly, I did a poll last week, so that's why it's important to always check up on our page. Also, the bell for YouTube likes to be a bitch, so sometimes people don't get the notification ding, so make sure to check that out. Hit the notification button. And so what Juan was channeled love letter, okay? So this is for you, my beautiful baby who chose this gorgeous pink icing donut. Number three, how's your boo thing? Person on your mind feeling about you deep down in his heart space that is until Conrad at the tire shop. To Keisha, his nosy ass sister. Tara, who works in finance. Oh my gosh, I almost choked on my fucking spit. Or... The only motherfucker he tells is the bartender, one tequila bottle down in Mexico, okay? My beautiful baby, so let's get into it, okay? Hope y'all are doing great on this gorgeous God bless day. Thank you, Creator God, for all the messages that come through with love and light and Barbie girl sprinkles, okay? Let's get into it. So tell me I don't want Okay, here we go. It's been a long time since I spoke to you or seen you. I pray you've been okay. Make sure to keep yourself safe. Always wishing you the best of faith and grace in whatever you choose to do in life. 
Wow, you guys, this is some deep ass, like, like, well wishes here. Some deep ass well wishes. It's been a long time since I spoke to you or seen you. I pray you've been okay. Make sure to keep yourself safe. Always wishing you the best of faith and grace in whatever you choose to do in life. Wow, damn. This is some well wishes from your person. This is like, you guys been, it's been a, quite a while since you both obviously spoke or even seen each other. So it's like, when you do pop into this guy's heart space, it's like, he hopes that you're safe and you're looking after yourself and that he prays for your protection in whatever you choose to do in your life. Wow, you guys, this is some damn deep well wishing, well wishes for your safety and shit. So no, regardless of the matter, if you guys are away from each other, it's been a long time, broken up, whatever, separated, a crush, an old best friend, whatever. What, what's up with this, you guys, is he's definitely wishing you no ill will whatsoever. It's just straight love, straight love. This person's a very good person. Movement choices, decisions. Why is there only fucking three cards here? Where's the other ones? Oh my gosh, I'll go grab the other ones right quick. Right quick. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, well, I guess there's no more. One, two, three. Wow, that is so strange. There's like, I must have been really hammered shuffling earlier. What the fuck? Okay, let's grab some more from here. How's this relationship? Wow, you guys. So this is like when he, th how this relationship's going, you guys? One more, please. Thank you, creator God and ancestors. One more card, please and thank you. This one flew out. Wow, this is so fucking beautiful. 10 of, okay, 10 of swords at the bottom. Wow, you guys. So this has been a long ass time. Like those feelings you feel sometimes that still come up sporadically are legitimately valid because your person has feelings for you sporadically also. So it's not only you that sometimes crosses his mind, crosses your mind. It's also him too. You know that song by Brian McKnight? Do I ever, do I ever cross your mind anytime? Like that's the song I'm getting you guys for this specific pile is because you guys, obviously there's definitely a time and a place back in the day where you guys had the choice to be together. This guy chose career. This guy chose maybe to work abroad. Perhaps you chose career, your education, or moving to a different city. There was choices made in the beginning of this relationship that changed the relationship of your guys' connection. And it happened. And so obviously it was strenuous. Any kind of distance, any kind of... Um, decisions that are life-changing always and you you have a love interest in a certain area area code um geographical place distance it's gonna obviously lay a toll okay so you guys are coming out of a time where perhaps he's moved closer perhaps he's moved closer to you maybe he's done his studies now you guys have a, a window opening up where you guys can actually link back up together so i think this is why you're checking i think you think there's a window of opportunity where you guys can actually link up now since he's done his credentials, he's done his education, perhaps you are, you come out of a life cycle, maybe you moved into a new house or you are finished your PhD. Something incredible happened in Bochal's life now where it's a new cycle where you wanna invite this love back in. Yeah, this has been, this union is definitely something that has went against the grain is against the odds right now. You guys don't have a particular energy that's picking up, that's supporting this for some reason. It's like, in the future though, I'm seeing that it can actually lighten up, but right now the energies are not so fast and furious, so moving forward. It's more like you guys want this to happen, but it's not happening. This relationship is like a want, but it's not happening. So there is a there is a beautiful opportunity though for this relationship to actually get the ball rolling to actually initiate some some sort of fucking physical emotional spiritual love. There's an invitation here that really will help this love grow in the future, the near future, actually not even in a long time, like near future. And it's a cup of love, it's a cup of opportunity to revisit 
revisit why this union had never got off the ground. There's an opportunity coming up, you guys, in this next little while. That's an opportunity to revisit why this relationship never worked in the, worth in the first place, okay? So there's definitely something coming up of a chance to rekindle, a chance to rekindle and revisit and be like, why didn't this work? But I'm getting you guys, the reason why it didn't work in the beginning is because obviously you guys are two different people with very two different life missions, very two different frequencies. Creator God and ancestors, what do you have to say about this union? Because what I'm picking up is you guys both are on way different fucking journeys in your life. If tomorrow you died, what would you tell people? I have a feeling you guys are on both two different very life journeys that just do not align with each other's life purpose. Thank you, creator God. What do you guys have to say about this relationship? What else do we have here? We have, you are self-sabotaging yourself. You are self-sabotaging yourself. What are they self-sabotaging themselves with? We have this one. Stop micromanaging the universe, you effing psycho control freak. Let go and let God. So if you're pushing to be in a relationship, you guys, and you kind of just like, well, just want a relationship with just anybody from your past, not just anybody, but if you just really want a relationship and you're checking in on someone from your past because now you're ready for a relationship, this is definitely saying fuck this relationship and F this guy because this isn't really a very promising relationship. You guys are on both different roads, like I said earlier, and you have something like better out there for you, okay? One more piece of advice. Um, the reason why it didn't work in the past is because it's not meant to be. What else do we have here? Root shocker healing, fear-based, childhood trauma. So you might be, obviously you're feeling very displaced. You're coming out of so much change, a big cycle in your life you completed. So now you're just like, hey, I'm ready to hook up. I'm ready to boo up. I'm ready to shack up. I'm ready to have a partner. So I feel like you're searching in the past, asking about an ex who didn't work out. Why? Because it was not meant to be with this person and you just want to find just have someone to have somebody to share your life with and what i'm really getting from this you guys is this person is not your person one more what you want to say about this relationship Ooh, ooh too much too many one more one more one more time feel the beat i want to celebrate okay this one is saying, yes, this is your beautiful, loving soulmate. Yay. So this is a soulmate of yours, my beautiful love. This is a soulmate of yours. That is why you guys feel this connection. And then at the very bottom, fuck this energy vampire, focus on you. So yeah, this is an incredible, beautiful union that was one of the ones that you were meant to link up with and the ones that in this lifetime, your soul chose to really engage. But the thing is, Everything that I'm seeing and everything that definitely is leading up to it is there's a reason why this never worked out. And you know, some soulmates come into our life temporarily and sometimes they come in long term. But from what I'm seeing, you got to leave this in the past because if you guys engage into another cycle with this person and realize why it didn't work out in the first place, you're going to get the why once again. You're going to get the, oh, this is why it didn't work. Did you guys ever watch that movie, The Vow? When... Allie, Rachel McAdams on the vow, she goes and dates her ex again, and then she breaks up with him again because she's like, oh, this is why I fucking left you the first time. And he's like, yeah, you're breaking up with me again over the same reason. That's what I'm getting here, you guys. That's strongly what I'm getting here. So this is really saying this relationship's just kind of a cock block for who you're meant to be with. So fuck this energy vampire, focus on you. Let's get to what's next in love for you okay because i don't want to just leave you at that like i want to get what's next in love for you because the person you clicked on here initially for is just someone you should end the chapter with someone you should end the cycles with now like don't repeat the cycles with this guy close out this chapter in your life Ooh, this one popped out oh my god what's next in love for you a new love just about here oh my god you guys 11 11 just came on the fucking clock a new love is just about here. So what I'm getting strongly is fuck this guy from the past who you clicked on here for. 
You have a new boo coming in, hot and ready, hot and fresh out the kitchen. Let's get who the hell he is. Let's get some signs of who the fuck this motherfucker is. A new love, a brand new love. So get the get back, get your ass back out there. You just finished a big ass cycle. Go back on online dating. Don't give up on love. There's so much beautiful men out there who would just love to wine and dine in 69 year ass. Your whole outlook in life is changing. You might even date folks who you never dated before. Who's this new love, you guys? Who is this new love? First house, Aries. He could be an Aries, which we all love because Aries, oh my God, I'm a fucking Aries Venus and that shit turns me on. Six, we got Virgo, you guys. Virgo, could possibly be a Virgo. I'm a Vir Virgo South node, so I'm, I would go fucking haywire since I was a kid about shit not in order. Eighth house, Scorpio, intimacy. So you guys definitely will get dicked down here from your lover. Scorpios know how to fuck. Very strong. Oh my gosh, you guys. If they're the god of war, Aries, mixed with the Scorpio, their dick game will be on time every time. Virgos are fine as fuck also. Just saying. What else? Who's this new lover coming in for my baby? Baby, baby. Uranus, Aquarius, big, unique energy, big, unique. I ain't like the rest. I'm be the best. A motherfucker who loves to travel. Okay, so we have Aquarius, Sagittarius, Aries, Virgo, and Scorpio placements in your person. Very, very beautiful, beautiful, adventurous signs, okay? When is this love coming in? Let us see who this new lover is, you guys. Yeah, it's going to come after a time of you going through, obviously, this ending it's like you gave up on love you want to you're ready to shack up you're ready to be with somebody you've been on your own for a very long time you're ready to start a life with somebody when's this love coming in creator god you're ready to start a life with someone you've established a home you've established a home and a beautiful life for yourself so now, now you're ready to share with somebody but what the ancestors are really saying is fuck the guy from the past. <laughs> like, don't revisit the old wounds. You're just going to break up again. Oh, my God. You got yes, my favorite card in all of the tarot. Like, all my fucking motherfucking tarot. You guys. You guys have so much love ready just to burst through the fucking door like the Kool-Aid guy. You guys have all this love coming in. Like the sun is going to come out of these clouds, these musty, big ass black tornado clouds, and it's gonna bust through with this beautiful love. You guys, this is why I made this channel. This is why I made Beautiful Love Tarot is because you will love again. And I believe in the power of love and love always wins. When you forgive the past, forgive your parents, forgive past heartbreaks, forgive, forgive, forgive every trauma. Love always comes. Love always wins. Love, 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 love. It's always there. Even if you don't forgive shit, it's always there. So it is going to come after you let go a lot more of this person who you clicked on for. Cut the cords. Cut the cords of everyone from your past that was a love interest. It's going to come after a time where you're just minding your own business, making that big, and I'll get a timing for it. This is when your soulmate love is going, the real fucking soulmate, the real deal, the real person who is in your contract, who is meant to stay, who's the peanut butter and jelly, who's the cream and coffee, okay? Who's the Shrek and donkey. That's who the fuck's coming in, you guys, for you. And it's going to be beautiful, exquisite, beautiful lovemaking like no other mother effa, okay? This love is going to be unlike any other, you guys. This is so gorgeous, and you will have that. You weren't meant to be the cat lady on the side of the fucking highway with 40 cats, okay? And die alone. You were meant to have a beautiful, loving union. Open your heart to the visions, to the possibilities of your beautiful soulmate coming in. Really say an affirmation so it comes in better. Thank you, God, for my soulmate love. Thank you, God, for all this love that surrounds me. My heart is open to love. I am worthy of love. I am worthy of love. Thank you for my soulmate loving me and watch it f fucking f come to fruitation. I'm not lying to you. 100%. This is speaking from experience. Watch it come to fruitation. Your twin flame will come in. You have to always think in advance. Being thankful and grateful is the second highest frequency after the love frequency. 
You guys, you guys have a soulmate coming in. And it's going to be fucking amazing because we have the sun card here. You guys are going to laugh, 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 laugh until your heart can't stop laughing anymore. And the queen of cups just fell out over there. Why? Because you deserve it. Because you're a loving, beautiful, kind person, ace of cups. And you deserve a beautiful love. This rusty, busty from the past is in the past. Leave it in the past. Don't open that chapter up. Don't open up that motherfucking can of worms again. Okay, when's this person coming in? Please and thank you, creator God and ancestors. When's this person coming in? Okay, when's this person, soulmate, coming in? Will you just wait for me? Will you just wait for me? So this is really saying, baby, in the meantime, between time, while you wait for this beautiful sunshine and the rain, what, in the meantime, between time, this gorgeous, beautiful sun, honestly, you guys, do you in the meantime. Just do whatever makes you happy. Remember with the control free card that came out earlier, honestly, just honestly let go and let God and let it all flow organically. Cause you do have a soulmate out here and there's a lot that needs to be happening. Okay, so what I'm talking about is this 10 of swords. You guys still have a lot of releasing to do from your past. A lot of forgiving and releasing to do in your past. The guy is facing the west, the east part of me, which is the shadow. There's a lot of reorganizing and just getting that bag intact with your own life. Stability. This is all about stability, you guys. This is all about 444, stability. So let's get some advice from your ancestors and creator God in the meantime, between time, while you wait for this gorgeous, beautiful, love of your life to come in. And as you heal along this next part of your leg of your journey, because it is going to be some healing time for you. Okay, this is what we have. Freeing the threads of connection. What did I say, you guys? You guys have a lot of cords you gotta cut from your past. Whether it's your parents still having trauma over you, whether you still have bad memories of your mama getting beat, perhaps your dad cheating, any kind of childhood resentment that you might not think you have, think about it. And if it triggers any kind of anger within you or sadness, that means you still have a lot of coming to peace with it and forgiving and accepting if you have ptsd from lovers who abused you used you honestly you guys cut those cords and come to peace with it accept it forgive that it's in the past and let it go give it back to the white light of the holy spirit freeing the threads of connection is all about cutting cords with people from your past especially this guy you initially logged on here for and picked a pile for number three this is really saying cut the cord off with him because it's really choke holding you from really embracing the love of your life coming in the future so the big big fucking thesis topic of this reading is you guys have to cut off all toxic connections that pull you back a lot of traumatic ptsd relationships that are still having a hold on your heart you guys you got a lot of forgiving you still have to do of resentment from your past relationships okay so if you don't know how to cut cords with people from your past check out my video i made three months ago scroll down it's called pulling the cords there's a lot of forgiving. Also journaling, you guys, journaling. I forgive you. I forgive you for hitting me. I forgive you for cheating on me. I forgive you for giving me the clap. I forgive you and I release you. Work on this for the next couple weeks, you guys, because there's a lot of thread connection, a lot of dusty ass connections you guys are still holding on to that are cock blocking your soulmate from coming into your life, okay? Because my baby, guess what? You have this beautiful soulmate coming in. It's just you got to do a little bit more soul work, okay? I love you so much, my beautiful baby. You deserve love. You are worthy of love. And I'll see you next time on Beautiful Love Tarot. Hi, my beautiful baby. How's it going on this gorgeous, beautiful... God bless day in South Central Miami. <laughs> I hope your day has been going super great, super beautiful. I know I've been super trying to catch the my footing in my new place. It's super gorgeous. I'm so happy. I have nothing to complain about. Thank you, God, for all the love and all the beautiful chocolate milk caressing our bodies. Amen. All right, my beautiful baby. So I did a poll of how your person's feeling about you. Love letter, channeled love letter, and that one won, okay? So without further ado, my beautiful love, let's get into how your person's feeling about you. What do they want to say in this love letter that they don't tell Jamal down at 
the YMCA, they don't tell Harry, their neighbor, they don't tell Takesha, their nosy ass sister, the only motherfucker they tell is the bartender, one tequila bottle down in Mexico, okay? So without further ado, boo-boo, let's get into it. Number four, how's your person feeling about you deep down in their heart's place? I'm so, I'm so excited. I just can't hide it. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. Channeled love letter. Ooh, these little jumpers here, little grasshoppers. I ain't ready for this. Wrong life, hard times, wrong human, divine time. Love another. I'm gone now. I ain't ready for this. Wrong life, hard times, wrong human, divine time. Love another, I'm gone now. Damn. Ho, oh, hot diggity damn. Why is he feeling like this? I ain't ready for this. I'm not ready for this. Hard times, wrong human, divine time. Let's further get into why he's feeling the way he's feeling, you guys. This is, talk about coming on strong. Wow, you guys, so this relationship, wow, like honestly, you guys, this relationship is so beautiful, so, so loving and so kind. You guys have this guy, this guy twisted by Keith Sweat. Twisted by Keith Sweat is the song I want you guys to Spotify Apple Music right away because there is a lot of shit going on in your guy's head right now in the current energy where he's fucked up, 100%. You guys are soulmates. You guys are definitely, definitely high-end soulmates and there's definitely a beautiful connection going on here and he will come towards you ASAP. He will come towards you ASAP. It's just in the current energy, I feel like a soup's being brewed, like some really damn good soup is being made right now to really come together, put the pieces together in his own mind frame and his own mental clarity where he's like, what the fuck is going on? So your person's kind of putting the puzzle together of your guys' love. Absolutely adores. Absolutely, you're just gorgeous. You're beautiful. You're that bitch. You're that Sierra. Okay, you are that Beyonce, you are that JLo, you are that bitch. So don't ever think for one second because he's not ready or because he's thinking like wrong life, hard times, you know, love another, I'm gone now. Don't think it has anything to do with your fine ass because baby, you're out here glowing. You're a go-getter, you're gorgeous as fuck. You're beautiful. You, honestly, many men would be blessed to hit that cootie cat. Many men would be blessed to taste your juice, your hot sauce, okay? So don't ever think it has anything to do with you. This guy is just fucked up in his head right now. Twisted by Keith Sweat. There's a lot of love here. There's a lot, a lot of love here, you guys. Let's see what your ancestors and creator God have to say about this. You know I got what you need right here, baby. Got me twisted over you. Creator God and ancestors, what do you have to say about this relationship? Yeah, he's fucked up. Remember I said that? Distorted masculine. He's really like going through like some huge emotions, trying to process like, why do I feel so deep with her? Why is she feeling like the love of my life? I've never felt this before. This guy, ooh wee. This guy has to repair it himself. This guy has to resolve conflict within. And look at this. I can't make this up. This is a twin flame card of this whole deck. What did I say? High-end soulmates, twin flames. You guys are high-end soulmates or twin flames. You guys have a deep love that you will sh you share with nobody walking this earth. Out of 8 billion folks, you will not share this love with nobody walking this earth. And this is some deep-ass solidified love. You guys have a deep fucking love. Like, this is the twin flame card. Wow. 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 This is some deep shit. <laughs> I am sorry. I am sorry to be so, like that is why this guy's so messed up when it comes to you, Keith Sweat Twisted, because you guys, ah, oh, this guy has never felt such a profound love like this in his life. And it's really bringing out all the shadow aspects of who he is and all the cobwebs that he still needs to fix. He never really truly experienced such a healthy, beautiful love, such a gorgeous love in his life. So it's almost, it is, I'm not gonna say almost, it is foreign to him, it's foreign to him. 
It's like dropping his ass off in the fucking desert of Jerusalem and telling him to go survive. It's foreign to his ass, okay? Honestly, you guys, this guy, you showed him your light, crinkled out all the dusty, wrinkly ass shadows and bad habits he had of his past to get him to look at himself and be like, wow, she's the real deal. She's like a walking goddess. She's like a walking god, Yemen, yeah, yeah, out of the ocean, to come to heal me. Come to show me back to myself. What do I still need to heal? You are the divine feminine, baby. You are the divine feminine. You are a power house. You are a walking goddess of this earth. You are of God. That's what you do. You go into people's lives and you change people's lives. Not only have you changed his life, but many, many, many men, many, 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 men. <laughs> like, honestly, that's what you guys do. So this guy has just been blown away, fi figuratively speaking, metaphorically speaking, blown the fuck away. What's that one song? You blow me away. This guy is just blown away with your love. Like this is a love he has never experienced before. We'll never, we'll never experience ever again. And it's like really putting him back to what do I need to heal? You have shown him back to himself. Cause you guys are twin flames. So it's like he has to reparent himself and go back to the blackboard and really be like, wow, all these shitty habits I've had with chasing or running uh abandonment issues going ghost on broads going ghost on people it's because i had this uh this fabricated vision of love i had this fake vision of love i thought that was love that was in love this is love he's at this high point in his life this high frequency he's went through enough spiritual awakenings now where he recognizes something so profound something so unique that he has never experienced in his life before. So he's taking the time it takes to really repair in himself and go back to the blackboard, the drawing board, erase everything that he was ever taught and to reteach himself the healthy way to love. Oh, this is how you love healthy. Oh, this is how you reciprocate healthy. This is how you forgive. Oh, this is how you communicate. This is how water off a duck's back, which means how you let stuff go and go with the flow, how you let go and you let God. This guy's going back to the blackboard and learning everything again, relearning everything again, and really seeing all of his shitty habitual patterns that were not serving him in the past that he wasn't conscious of are coming up to really be like, hey, okay, you cannot move forward with this divine queen. You cannot move forward with this divine twin flame with those shady shitty habits of the past you it's time to let them go now and make room for this beautiful gorgeous divine love that you are being blessed with in this life my child <laughs> but honestly that's how it is like he cannot move forward with the old shitty toxic traits that he had from the past that he wasn't aware of in this next step in his beautiful life to love you the way you deserve because you're that bitch you're that high priestess, you're that empress, you're that queen, you're that walking goddess, you're the Beyonce of motherfucking your country, of your province, of your city. You're that bitch. Touch down in any grocery store, city, or gym, you're that bitch. You steal the spotlight without even trying. It just, it's a thing. It just, that's how you roll. I'm, and don't ever apologize for your light because seriously, you're healing people walking into places without even knowing it. Honestly, you guys, look at this. Resolving conflict. This guy is going through shadow aspects, another spiritual awakening, another tower moment just because he met you. And this is the universe, his guides, creator God preparing him to come into union, to deal with low self-worth issues, low self-deserving issues, and understand I deserve her. I deserve her. You're really mirroring aspects of himself, you guys, that he needs to heal in order to boss up to be man enough to be your man. That Sheryl Crow song, are you strong enough to be my man, my man, that Sheryl Crow song, it's called uh, Strong Enough to Be My Man. That is like what the universe is powering him up for and really getting him to go through his shadow aspects because you guys are high-end soulmates, twin flames, to really be better for each other. To be better for each, for to be better for you, to be what you deserve, because he is what you deserve. You guys are at the same light frequency. You guys are star seeds. You guys are indigos, rainbow children, 100%. You've just awakened him to his power. You have just awakened to him to who the fuck he is. Some empath star seeds, you guys don't know who they are for a bit. 
Just like Krishan. You know a little Krishan off um, Bad Girls Club and Baddies and shit and she's dating Blueface? She's a little em empath. She's a starseed. She doesn't even fucking know it at all like it's crazy she's so sensitive and she's so magical i can't wait till that girl opens up to her magic right now she's in a kind of a abusive relationship but that's what all empaths go through in their early 20s or teenagehood so let's get some more feeling cards of how your person's feeling about you deep down and his heart space about you and baby the reason why you're being blessed with such a beautiful twin flame union is because you have done the work you are in your north node you are doing what god put you on this world this earth to do so that's why you're being blessed with such a beautiful love but the thing is my love that this guy needs some crisscross applesauce some oil because he's not at the energetic point energetic power that you are right now and speaking of that shit i'm gonna get more lighting better in here for you guys because honestly this lighting's not great okay let's see how he's feeling about you i think i love you more than you love me well this is messy as fuck <laughs> i think i love you more than you love me whole this is messy as f so wow you guys see see what did i say super twin flame soulmate energy this is so profound and unlike anything he's ever felt in his life before it's like knocking him off his feet i've been looking for a fairy tale too not only you me too so my love if you have expressed to him like what's wrong with you why are you ghosting me why are you treating me like this it's because He's honestly just trying to process what the fuck this is. He's never experienced this before and it's scaring the shit out of him. I don't know if I will ever find another like you ever. What did I say? What did I say in the beginning? This guy knows that you are one in eight billion. You are that twin flame. And of course, it's a feeling. Like you can be sitting in a room with Beyonce, JLo, uh, Sierra, Cassie, uh, the most beautiful woman in the world, Rachel McAdams. And your person could be sitting with them, but he will feel no connection to them because there's not a connection with them. But if you sat in that room, it's like, boom, straight to you magnetically because you guys have a soul connection. You guys have a soul, profound soul connection. It's unique. It's one in eight billion. Stop being a desperado. So if you have over texted him or over checked on him, take your space back, take your, take your power back and pull back your energy in the meantime, between time, let him go through his motions. That's one thing that you can't do for your counterpart. You guys is go through pain for them or go through their spiritual awakening with them. That's an intimate journey that they have to take on their own. That's an intimate journey that they have to walk with creator alone. And that's only them. No one can hold your hand through a spiritual awakening or through a death. A of your old self nobody it has to be of such a personal thing so do not take it personal give him the free space bless him with a gift of giving him independence to go through this alone to boss up alone and let him come back to you better rejuvenated and more wise with a stronger energy give him space don't text him anymore don't email him don't call him anymore give him space I don't know what to do he's like i don't know what to do when it comes to you what he needs to do is he's got to heal take the emotions to heal and really sit with himself yeah my felt my fat albert nudes he, he might have some uh self-worth issues when it comes to his body just low self then whenever this card pops up y'all it's all about just having low self-worth in general so your person does suffer with some aspects of himself having that low deservingness low self-worth issues i don't deserve this etc pardon me <laughs> spell your name on this dick for life at the same time with high and soulmate twin flames you guys have this connection where you don't even have to do anything and this guy gets aroused <laughs> you don't know you're gonna be sitting there sneezing your life out, like sneezing the fuck out of yourself or just like looking ugly crying and you still turn this guy on like this guy's so turned on for you he wants you to just like f him till the cows come home f him and so the great creator takes him back home to happy hunting grounds this guy wants to be with you forever and ever amen and dick you down four times a day till death do us part there's no such thing as death just the change of worlds i pray to be with you each night i pray to be with you 
so much love you guys so much love so much expression you guys this love is thick like you get a room seriously <laughs> this love is so fucking thick it's like all over the place it's such a hard big ass connection let me be your king you're already my queen oh you guys this is so cute so at the end of the day this guy knows that he's your king, he's your emperor, and you're his queen, and he loves you with his whole entire heart, he loves you with his whole entire soul. You're his trophy wife. You guys, this is so fucking profound, profound of a love. This is a love of a lifetime. The thing is, you really, like I said, you have to take the time to let him go through his, his evolution, his evolving. So pull back your energy, grant him the gift of going through the spiritual awakening by himself because that's the only key to accessing a highest love is letting your counterpart go through their evolution by themselves. Like I said, you can't heal for them. It's such a personal, independent journey. Give him the gift of releasing him and letting him deal with this because baby, baby, this is your motherfucking twin flame. This is your soulmate. Boo, like, ugh. This is gorgeous. This is the love of a lifetime. How is he feeling about you? He's absolutely head over heels for you. He's absolutely in love with you. But he's not ready for this right now because he has to heal. Okay? Okay, my baby? Let's get two cards. My beautiful baby. So Taurus. Ooh, wee. Tauruses. I love me some Taurus. Mercury. Gemini. And at the bottom, we have Aries. Aries. Very intimate, personal journey he's going on. So, perhaps you are your person is a Gemini or a Taurus or Aries. Parts of your chart. Now, let's get some advice from Creator God. Of Once you let go of this guy and let him heal on his own, how is this relationship going to go in the future? Once you let him heal... And because this is such the out of all the piles I did, you guys have the most powerful love. You guys have the most powerful love out of any pile that I've done so far. Let your how it's this relationship is going to go moving forward is you have to let your guy go through the motions of his healing. Whatever this may come up as, whether it's him over gambling or him really having this long time away from you, you really got to just let him go through the motions. Let him heal in whichever way that might look. Like I said, addiction sometimes is a way people take their time dibbling and dabbling out of healing, okay? And that's what I'm seeing right now. And you, you just focus on you. Let your aunties, your sisters, your crazy ass friends surround you at this time and just really fucking fill you up with your energy and your love and your happiness go out with your girlfriends go on picnics go hiking in the mountains have park dates go to the movies spend time with your girlfriends be silly like do things that really light your heart up with your family and your best friends you guys at this time and how this relationship's gonna go is just focus on you that's the real huge thing is you got to focus on you the higher your frequency is, the higher that your lover can meet you up there. Do you understand, Twin Flames? The higher your frequency is, the more that your person can heal. So do what makes you happy. He will heal, but baby, you gotta really love yourself at this time also. You guys are mirroring a lot of each other. Chaser, runner, dynamic almost. So you gotta pull back all that energy and really focus on you right now, even if it hurts. That's what you got to do. And understand that he's going to come back very soon. Just have that niceness deep down in your heart, knowing that he will come back and you guys will be re reunited. But in the meantime, between time, love yourself first, okay? He will come back and trust and believe it will be passionate. You will get the motherfucking dick of your life. Possibly get knocked the fuck up. And you will get like that earth shaking, bed breaking, drywall breaking. Neighbors call the motherfucking cops earth shaking sex when he gets back. And he's all healed and shit, okay? And anyways, when folks ain't healed, sometimes they have problems with their... You know, especially if they get into really bad physical accidents. It's sometimes hard to get their dick up. All right, let's get some advice for you, my beautiful love. Extra advice for you from Creator. One more piece of advice for you, my beautiful, gorgeous mother effing Beyonce ain't got shit on you, baby. 
Protection for the vulnerable heart. Okay, this is what it actually says in the book, okay? So I'm gonna read you this, because I love, I absolutely love these oracles, you guys. Vulnerable hearts can be powerful, open, honest, and wise. To remain in such a high state of heightened openness, such souls need a safe, protective field from potentially undermining influences. Spiritual protection is available for all of us. However, there are times when we feel particularly vulnerable and have a greater need for spiritual light to secure and seal our path. This protection allows for spiritual light to secure and seal our path and allows our hearts to remain sensitively tuned into what is happening so we know which steps to take. This oracle brings the message that when we feel the most sensitive or uncertain, we are very open to spiritual blessings. There are blessings that want to find their way into your world and your heart is providing protection and sanctuary in more ways than you know. Keep your heart open to spiritual grace. So my baby, even though your person, the love of your life is taking time from you, don't let that, don't turn bitter and don't harden your heart. Try to keep it as open to love and as vulnerable to the beauty of this world as possible. Never let anything, anything that might have hurt you or you know, might look like it hurts you ever turn you into a closed heart chakra. Okay, my baby, because you have such this beautiful, unique, gorgeous, indigo, rainbow child heart chakra that's healing to the world. And you never want to shut that down because it's also the connection to creator God to communicate with us. And right now you're receiving all these blessings that are just wanting to bust through the motherfucking windows and come to you. But make sure to just try your hardest to keep that beautiful, gorgeous heart within your chest nice and open and full of love because you're receiving blessings right now my gorgeous baby okay i love you so much congratulations on just this great profound love i love you so much and i'll see you next time on beautiful love tarot hi my beautiful baby how's it going on this gorgeous beautiful God bless day. I am so happy. Thank you for just all the love, the patience through this move. I am now situated, so I'm so happy for that. Just adjusting everything. Thank you for liking, subscribing. So I did a poll and you guys participated last week. So thank you all for participating. Thanks for the votes. The biggest one that won was channeled love letter, okay? So my gorgeous, gorgeous love. That is what we're gonna get into. Your baby, your boo thing, your crush your person on your mind, this is the way they feel deep down inside. And you know me, folks who've been with me since day one, my ride or dies, y'all know straight, no chase. This is the truth, this is the truth tea. This is the way I say it and deliver it, okay? So this is how your person feels deep down in their heart space. So let's get into it. It's my gorgeous baby who chose pile number five. How's your person feeling about you deep down in the heart space? Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Creator God, for all the beautiful messages that come through. And thank you for donuts. Thank you for Krispy Kreme after a good, beautiful leg day. Thank you just so much for all the beauty in this world and all the gorgeous strangers who smile at us each and every day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So you chose this gorgeous pink with a pink jujube, neon jujube at the top. Okay, my Barbie girls in a Barbie world, let's get into it. How's your person feeling about you? Deep down in their heart space channeled letter, okay? As I'm moving up, as I'm moving up, making better te teams. One sec, I have to adjust the speaker thing here. Okay. Hope y'all can hear me. As I'm moving up, making better teams, getting promoted, you hold me down. I never had that before. It's so new and beautiful. I smile when I think of how I finally have someone in the world who cares about me and my well-being. I miss you. Wow, okay, so who does he play for? Does he play for China? Does he play for Guatemala? Who does he play for? Who does homeboy play for? Or he's a traveling rambler, so he travels for a living. His career really sets him on the road a lot, a lot, okay? So take whatever you feel is right that this guy does for a living because this guy, while he's on the road, while he's doing his career, he is going up in his career, you guys. So he is succeeding successfully in the financial wise. So good news, homeboy's a zaddy, okay? So he makes big. 
So that's a good thing. You ain't dealing with no scrub. And hey, I ain't judging. Yo, if you're on the passenger side of your best friend's ride, so be it. In this day and age, gas is a fucking bitch. And personally, I don't like to drive. I'd rather ho have a chauffeur, okay? So... Homeboy is rich, hella rich, and he's on the road, his career's banging, and he's making a lot of money. And this is great, because that means that if you're a woman of high stature, or you have certain needs that you like to upkeep with the upkeep, this man will 100% do that for you financially, okay? All right, that is how he feels. Like, this is the letter. He's getting promoted and he misses you. Like, while he's on the road, while he's doing his job, while he's in his office, while he's getting his education, like he misses you. <laughs> and he wants to come out of the cold, okay? He wants to come out of the cold eventually with you. He wants this whole big ass change, this whirlwind of change that you guys are going through to just be ended so he never has to feel lonely for you ever again. You know that song by Akon? That's the song I'm getting. Is Akon Lonely. And it's from like 20 years ago. Literally fucking 20 years ago. It's called Akon Lonely. I am so lonely. <laughs> so yeah, you guys did come out of a separation time. Look at this bitch is traveling. What did I just say with traveling? I said he's traveling. So honestly, this used to be like traveling soldier, hard work. Maybe he's in the Navy, the army. That's why he travels so fucking much. You guys have had to do a lot of FaceTime, a lot of overseas SEX. Like, so there's a lot of big distance that kind of is a cock block at times. Okay. Most definitely his career. He's paper chasing right now, which is, I'm all for that. I'm all for having a zaddy as a a lover because that's all i date is rich successful and that's just not something i look for it's just what actually happens by accident you are the energy that you attract in some way shape or form so my beautiful gorgeous love in the recent past this person has really been really trying to fight to get to you you guys it's been kind of a tough road but most recently it's starting to look up the wheel of fortune is kicked in and he can come home to you like pretty soon you guys can actually make this a joint venture and join and live together possibly there's great change that's happening in your guys's connection right now the energy is aligning where you guys are actually getting this chance of reunite reunited and it feels so good that's what i'm seeing okay also on the flip end great legacy remember when i said Remember my baby? Remember when I said zaddy energy, like really financially successful? So this guy is building a legacy. He sees this whole marriage with you. He sees having children with you. That means yes, you guys will get freaky deaky, okay? Maybe three times a day, maybe four times. If you're really fucking kinky six times, please comment below if you do six times a day because bitch, Spread the secrets with everyone on the channel. <laughs> you fucking rabbit. <laughs> but yes, honestly, you guys, this guy wants to have a legacy. He wants to share a successful business, millionaire lifestyle, yachts, fucking you on the boat. Like this guy sees everything with you, like an empire, a legacy, shared stocks and bonds, crypto if you fuck with that. Like this guy sees everything with you. Going to family cookouts, teasing that annoying ass auntie, bugging your little newborn nephew well not super newborn but like three-ish like just all of the beautiful family shit that everybody does you guys this guy sees holding your hand through life through every single airport majorly in the world like this guy wants to venture the world with you you guys definitely some Sagittarius energy up in this bitch definitely folks that love to travel this guy honestly honors you and your beautiful heart he knows that you're just a loving compassionate nurturer you're very protective you're strong you know how to play sports you're just this very loving beautiful person that is very just strong you're a strong ass bitch in morals very strong morals a lot of people respect you a lot of people respect you you know, there's a difference of fear when the, you have a leader and they, like people are fucking scared of them. And then you have others who are just very, you respect them because they walk their talk and they live their life with honor and integrity. That is the way you are. Like you're a female version of that leader off that movie Gladiator. Did you guys ever watch that movie Gladiator? That's you. You're the female version of that. Like just a very honorable, integral person. And this guy recognizes that power and he'd be a fucking fool to let you go. Okay. 
He doesn't want to be in the dark anymore. In the far future, he just wants to be united with you and never be in the dark ever again. He wants to hold you, come home to you, hug you, love you, motorboat your cute little belly and your butt cheeks, motorboat those butt cheeks, you know what I mean? All right, let's get some more advice cards. I love this, you guys. The Traveling Soldier Sega. That's what we'll call this pick a card. The Traveling Soldier Sega because that song by the Dixie Chicks keeps popping in my head. So really army vibes I'm getting. Perhaps he's stationed somewhere in the Navy, in the army. Traveling Soldier by the Dixie Chicks. Such a good song, you guys. <laughs> But yeah, he is making bags so he can come home to you and you probably will never have to work again. You probably will not have to work again. All right, what do we have here? I found my life purpose. I'm so happy, my passion. So this is why he's working so hard because he actually fucking loves what he does. And you know how this is, you guys. When you find your North Node in life, when you find your North Node in life, it's like you wake up so happy every day to do what God put you on this earth for because it resonates in your soul and there's no other passion that can feed it like a life purpose, okay? And this is how he feels. Well, besides you and the kids, you know what I mean? But besides that, his life purpose, it's like that's what keeps him alive and it's an addiction. Like Joe Rogan says, your passion will keep you going even when you can't go anymore. Like Tyler Perry says, your passion will give you a reason to jump the fuck out of bed and just keep living and keep going. Your passion keeps you alive. And this is beautiful because this is what this guy has recently found. And I'm so fucking happy for him. So happy for him. So your, your baby boo, 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 boo found his beautiful passion and he's following it with his heart and purpose. This might include leadership. My beautiful weirdo. <laughs> so he thinks you're just this gorgeous little cute little like, weirdo, which is the best because why fucking fit in when you were born to stand out? Outcasts always win at the end of the day. I'm just really nervous of your beauty, so I'ma hide in these trees. Okay, so he's like so enamored with the shape of you, Ed Shireen, Ed Shireen. But this guy's so enamored with how gorgeous and beautiful you are. You glitter when you walk, which reminds me, I was gonna go buy my glittery gold from Sephora. It's $80. And honestly, what which is it, Too Faced? I think it's Too Faced body glitter. Cause you know, when you're on the beach, you gotta glitter. You gotta glitter the fuck up and own the beach. So I ran out and it's $80 a bottle, but I went to Winners and I actually found these two Milani brands, same 80 mils each, and they were only $8.99 Canadian each. So baby, I found two of the same fucking bottles and I saved uh, $140 Canadian for a product that'll last me twice as much. Okay, talk about fucking bang for your buck okay thank god for home sense and winners anyways this guy is so enamored with your that j-lo glow that beautiful glow that you got going on how gorgeous you are that he just gets really nervous to really like sometimes haul at you okay you're very stunning and he knows it everyone knows it i bet you when he shows his friends your picture because you're such a beautiful light that they're like, quit lying. That's not your girlfriend. Stop lying. That's not your fucking girlfriend. Okay, where, where did you find those pictures of that supermodel? Like, that's the way that I feel that he has conversations with his friends. Like, they shove, his, they shove him and they're like, quit fucking lying. Like, you're lying. I promise I'll put out every day if you take me back. I fucking love you. So if you guys got into any kind of fights recently or in the past or even you guys already made up on red velvet cake if you get it's all good in the hood now this guy just wants you to know each and every time you guys fight or disagree or if he wants he wants to make it extra up to you when he sees you physically so you'll have this motherfucker licking your toes licking your ass crack having him having him snapping back doing moves he's never done in the bed before for nobody so yeah this guy is your slave in bed okay or personal pool boy or nightly fucking firefighter whatever your doctor i don't give a shit okay what else do we have here spell your name on this dick for life yeah this guy's all heated up this guy's definitely looking at your your bomb ass pictures with that billion dollar cootie kit all these goodies out in that bikini and he's definitely missing you physically he wants to tear you up like what's that really fucking ugly cartoon with that guy 
And he just creeps me out. Not like that. You're not nothing like that. But he says a saying that it's like, I want to prowl on you. Oh, yeah, it's Fr Princess and the Frog. When that, when Princess and the Frog, when the prince is like, I'm going to prowl on you like a tiger. You know, it's like really sexy because it's coming from a sexy guy. But I don't know. You have to watch Princess and the Frog. It's a good movie. But yeah, this guy wants to take you down, down to Pound Town, okay? And he doesn't want you to come back up, <laughs> like for air, if you know what I mean. Okay, what else do we have here? Why do I feel so strongly about you? What the F? So yeah, this guy fights a lot of his feelings a lot of the time. He's like, I finally have someone in the world who cares about me and my well-being. So he's so fucking attracted to you spiritually, emotionally. He just wants to stamp it. Stamp, stamp, stamp it. <laughs> Tapity tap, slap it. Physically, like physically, he wants to like stamp your guys' love and emotions and spiritual love for each other physically. AKA he wants to beat it up. I beat it, beat it up. Okay, what else do we have? I'm heartbroken. Yeah, the distance is really killing him. Like it's really tough. You guys, distance is such a bitch, it's hard. And a lot of times this guy gets really in his feelings, okay? In his feelings by Drake. If you never heard that song, In My Feelings by Drake. This guy misses you. He misses you a lot, but everything he does financially is saving money to build you guys a better empire, foundation, everything. It's a hardworking guy. And it's really easy to save money when you're in the army because your like, housing's paid for, your food's paid for, and you can just bank, especially if you volunteer for the front lines. You know what I mean? And you're really fucking big dick energy where you know you're going to live. Like I know in the Ukraine, they were paying 6,000 American a day if you went front lines Ukraine. I woke up and you were supposed to be here. We're supposed to be together. Yeah, that's what I mean. This guy's so tired of being alone. I'm so tired of on my own. Like this guy's tired of being alone. He's tired of being alone without you. Oh, it's such a good song. I'm so tired of being alone. I'm so tired of on my own. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna find that song. So it's called Tired of Being Alone by Al Green. Okay, that's exactly the song that I'm channeling for this specific situation with you and your boo is Al Green, Tired of Being Alone. It's such a fucking good song. Baby, go have a bubble bath and just sing this at the top of your lungs until the neighbors upstairs are banging on the fucking roof. This is such a good song, you guys. It'll have your mom and dad bopping in the living room. This is a fucking good ass song. I'm so tired of being alone. I'm so tired. This guy wants to just come home to you already. Like, fuck, can we live together? Fuck. We're supposed to wake up together already. What the fuck? And what else do we have? I want to eat you like a beautiful love cupcake. Yeah, this guy's in heat. I'm just getting this is the most sexual pile out of all the piles. This guy's in fucking heat. Like, this guy really wants to... Oh, F you like you've never been effed in your life, okay? This guy wants to put you unconscious and vice versa. This guy wants to get so fuck and then bring him back to life with CPR. That kind of earth shaking love making, a zombie apocalypse kind of love. Okay, let's see what your ancestors and creator God have to say about this union. I'm so tired of being alone. I'm so tired on my own. Such a good song. I'm gonna jam it as soon as as soon as y'all go have that bubble bath and put on this Al Green, cause this motherfucker loves you. He misses you. You hold him down. He loves you. Look at the spiritual connection. Your guys' cord is hella thick. Your guys' spiritual connection and cord is so, so thick. You guys share a love that you guys have never shared with anybody in your guys' lives. Reparenting yourself, manifestation, and emotional freedom. This guy not only gives you that sexual freedom, but emotional and spiritual freedom. You guys have this beautiful, gorgeous connection. Look at the Al Green marinating you guys in the background. I'm so tired of being alone. I'm so tired of on my own. Such a good song, you guys. I don't know none of the motherfucking lyrics, but that's the only verse I know. And But I'm going to learn all the lyrics because I just now I'm addicted to the song because of you, mother effers. I'm all up in your guys' love story here. I'm feeling the energy. I feel like Timon and Pumbaa when they're watching Nala and Simba fall in love. Remember when they're in the bushes? That's how I feel. Like I'm just watching you, your guys' love story and it's beautiful. Anytime you feel like those creepy thoughts that come up to your head, 
that are like, oh, he's far away, he doesn't love you, this relationship is fake, it's just imaginary, blah, 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 shut it up, shut that monkey brain up and be like, no, this is a real love, this is the love of a lifetime, and it's real, and it's gonna be birthed amazing, okay, and it's gonna be like nobody other's love story in the whole entire world that ever lived, amen, hallelujah, okay? So just shut that monkey brain off and understand that this is a real love and this love can go ions, you guys. This love can transcend space and time because guess what? It already has. So beautiful. What you can do in the meantime between time is just keep them manifesting your lover into your life. So make sure you leave 50% of the bed for him. Make sure that whenever you go shopping for your Jordans that you look at another pair of Jordans and be like, that's my baby size. You know, just keep him... That manifestation mode, because you got to believe it, you guys. That's a huge part of manifesting your counterpart is you got to believe it. Because a lot of times folks will give up right before the manifestation occurs. And a huge part of uniting with your counterpart is you got to keep hold and believe it, okay? And just, it's not an attachment. It's not an attachment. It's unconditional love, which is to two totally different manifestation techniques, you guys. It's loving without attachment is unconditional love. And attachment is just that needy fucking lack, low vibrational fear-based shit, okay? Love him and manifest him into your life through unconditional love, free, freeness, happiness, um, patience, okay? And forgive the situation because, you know, sometimes we can't help that we're at long distances, so it's really important to forgive the situation, okay? I know we all get in shitty situations in this life, fuck. No, no relationship is like super awesome, califragilistic, expialidocious. Like, look, your guy, not only is he missing you, are not only are you missing him, his ass is missing you too. Like, listen to that Al Green song. And yeah, this is going to be a love of a lifetime, emotional freedom, laughing your snorkely ass, nerdy ass laugh everywhere and anywhere, traveling the world together, sleeping in airports together, and just living your best motherfucking life, my baby. So let's get one card of advice for you because this is a gorgeous, beautiful love. Your baby misses you. And he honestly feels like when he comes back home to the country, to back to you or to the province or to the city that you guys live in, that it's like you hold him down. He will always have a home with you. Like you hold him down. And this is beautiful because a lot of us, we don't got that. Some of us never even experienced that in our lifetimes or in our relationships because we actually married a weak ass bitch, you know? Etheric chords, speak up. So if you have some truths to be told, whether it's within this relationship or in your house, make sure to speak up. Use that beautiful blue throat chakra that's so vibrantly spinning and speak the fuck up, okay? Because each time you speak up, you honor yourself, you guys. Any kind of etheric cords that are not honoring your greatest and highest walking God is good. Make sure you cut them. And make sure you very thank God with the most highest and greatest good for blessing you with just pure light, pure, pure positivity with the greatest, highest intentions. Because this is a beautiful, blessed time in your life. And honestly, you have all the grace of God surrounding you with the highest, most beautiful protection. The greatest cord in this life is your cord with the vine. How do we really healthy up the cord with the vine? Yoga. The spine is the long distance cord, is the direct cord to the vine. That's why yoga is so important, okay? I love you so much, my beautiful, gorgeous baby, my queen of cups. This guy loves you, he misses you, and that's how he's feeling about you. I love you so much, and I'll see you next time on Beautiful Love Tarot. Hi, my beautiful baby. How's it going on this gorgeous, beautiful, God bless day in Mr. Rogers' neighborhood? So, my Bobby girl in a Bobby world, I am here to deliver a beautiful message of love or not from your boo thing who chose pile number six. I did do a poll last week and I asked what y'all want to hear on beautiful love tarot and the winner winner chicken dinner was a love letter. Okay. So I did a channel love letters put into a lot of love. So let's get into it without further ado. A beautiful love letter from the boo thing. Your crush, your boyfriends are the lover on your mind. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get into it. Pile number six, my beautiful baby who chose this. All right, I'm so excited. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, 
Okay, I've chosen another. Yeah, I've chosen another path. We've been knowing this would not work. Let's take our morals that are left and move forward separately. Take care. Okay, ain't that opening up with a motherfucking bang. Wow, let's see why the fuck he chose. And what the hell's going on? Like, what's up? You know what I mean? But even though he chose another... I feel like you guys both a hundred like percent haven't even left each other. Like you guys both have not really let each other go. Holy shit, there's vaginas in that card. I better show that fucking that's a, there's like vajayjays in that card. This one to a fire. These chicks are spread eagle. Like you guys, <clears throat> both of these chicks are spread eagle. Like wow, to a fire. Not shy out in public to boot. Whose aunties are those? Someone come take the wine away from their aunties. Okay, so what I'm seeing is, regardless of the matter, both you guys are not really completely shut off from this connection. Perhaps that's why you're still feeling his energy. Because he's not totally shut down. He hasn't totally shut the chapter book or cut the cord off 100% from you. Neither have you. So this separation must have just been recently, you guys. Because I'm seeing that you guys still have some cord left. Some cording left with one another. So even though you guys most probably have verbally said fuck you, F you, and just blocked each other or hung up on each other or split up. Even if it was in a healthy agreeable way which commendable then you guys are still feeling each other and still not uh, over each other there there you guys are not over each other you guys this this break in the cord is fresh he has chosen another with this to a fire um he has definitely found somebody else that was more easier uh, obviously with these spread eagle bitches here he has chosen another path with some spread eagle bitches, okay? And you, what do you, what did, what do they need to say to you? What do your ancestors and creator God have to say about you? But don't get me wrong, my little Hollywood Instagram famous star, my little beautiful shining track star, my gorgeous, beautiful, even if it's in your city, your neighborhood, your country, you're a big deal. You shine bright like a diamond. You're a Hollywood star. You have some level of fame or a lot of people know you or both. You're a fucking famous ass bitch and a lot of people know you. And you know what? Own it. That's okay. You're a bright shining star and a lot of bitches know you, including men. Okay. So if this guy has chosen another, it was because she was easier to access. Perhaps she lived in the same town. Maybe that was his neighbor. Maybe it's his boss. Who the fuck knows? But he has chosen someone who's not scared to go spread eagle in the middle of the day. Obviously, fuck. These hoes, these aunties are at a freaking dinner, I'm pretty sure. And they're just... Yeah, there's, they're in front of it. Let me see this. Oh my God. Look at all these people down. <laughs> Look at all these people down there. Okay, so maybe they chose um, somebody in the town that they live in or the city they live in that's on OnlyFans. But hey, I ain't judging OnlyFans. Fuck, I I've hesitated to open up my own damn OnlyFans here. <laughs> It's just another way of rep making dime big. You don't show your cootie cat. You just pose. Pose around in sexy ways, which is pretty much my public Instagram anyways. Okay, okay. Let's see what Creator God and the Ancestors have to say to you, my, my little cute Barbie. My baby, you have triumphed and succumbed through so much. You are done your karmic love cycles. Hey! <laughs> so that's saying you kissed so many frogs and been through so much heartache and pain that your next lover coming in is going to be the soulmate love of your life okay so let's see what else creator god and the ancestors have to say to you about this love life somebody's honking is that for me i will never know is that a car alarm Okay, yeah, that's someone's car, car alarm. That's not my car alarm. It better not be my motherfucking car alarm. This is a beautiful time in your life. You are being blessed. Okay, so sometimes when we're getting blessed in life, you guys, we try to check up on an old dusty ex because we're so happy and we're so high off euphoric highness because our life is going so fucking awesome that we check up on an ex or we try to go back to exes. So maybe that's what you're doing right now. If tomorrow, you know why the fuck people do that? It's because they just have this low key, 
way to sometimes try self-sabotage because your, their self-worth is being tested. You'll notice when you're in a new beautiful phase in your life, you guys, sometimes Creator God will bring on an old dusty ex to see if you're strong enough to swerve. And I'm just getting the feeling here that you are actually making your own tests by checking up on an old ex when your life is succeeding and getting higher, then higher, then higher, okay? If tomorrow you died, what would, peop what would you tell people? So on your public platform that you have, what would you tell people day to day? Like I always tell everyone I love them 24 seven because what if I fucking die tomorrow? Um, he is delayed, low functioning, cognitive delay. So the person you're checking in for here, you guys, is slow. You know, pro athletes, they get hit in the head all the time. Sometimes just a uh, sexual abuse trauma from a young age will have someone cognitively delayed, stuck in that auric field until they clear it. So there's many reasons for cognitive delay or slow delayed functioning brainwaves. Baby, there are millions of men who would pay to drink champagne out your ass. So move the fuck on, pretty much this is saying, because literally he's with somebody else. Um, yeah, holy fuck, you guys. He is a narcissist. You are making the right choice moving on. Okay, I'm just gonna shut the fuck up right there because the ancestors have spoken. Creator God has spoken. Move the fuck on, okay? It's time to let go of this guy. Move on. And there's a lot of beautiful positive cards in this pile, you guys. So, ugh, man, you've seen these all jump out. Move on. Now let's see what's coming next in your love life. Let's see what's coming next in your beautiful love life, my baby. What's coming next in your love life? What should my beautiful love have to focus on moving the fuck on with all these millions of men willing to drink champagne out of her ass? Creator God, what is my baby watching have to, what's next in love for her? What's next in love for her? Cause she's obviously fine as fuck. Oh, we got the ace of cups. My baby, right around the corner. You have a new new opportunity of a beautiful love to coming in. Oh, you guys, this is so cute. Oh, you guys have a beautiful new love coming in right around the corner. Just around, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And it's gonna be a fight. You have many men that are going to sword battle for you. Okay, downtown, in public. They're gonna sword fight for you. And the way they're going to commend this sword fight for you is they're going to pull out their gloves and slap one another. And that's how you start a fight. Okay. The traditional old 1500s way. Wow. You're going to have a lot of men trying to fuck you. Oh my gosh. Why? Because you're that. Uh -huh. You have this beautiful sitting on the top of the mountain trophy wife empress energy right now. Wow, you guys have all this beautiful feminine energy and it's so gorgeous and fertile. And it's like, you're just exuduating, even though you don't know it, you're exuduating all this beautiful, gorgeous, fertile love. And that's why you're attracting so many masculines, okay? I'm telling you, you're gonna have so many men that are gonna be fighting to tap that ass, okay? To make that ass drop. To have them in a coma getting sent to the ER from snatching their soul and fucking them to death, okay? That's what everybody, everyone's so attracted to you right now. You're so fertile. Bitch, if you don't want to get pregnant, make sure you get some plan Bs. Have a stock in your storage, at least five boxes, because I'm seeing you're going to get some good dick here soon, okay? <laughs> I wish I chose this pile. <laughs> I chose, I wish I chose this pile. Oh my gosh, you're gonna take in a pound town. <laughs> and you're gonna heal from the dusties of the past. This relationship you checked on, this guy who chose the spread eagle woman. Honestly, you guys, don't even fucking worry about it. You're gonna heal, okay? You're gonna heal with your sleeping beauty ass. Why? Because you're the fucking empress. Like, you're like the Jennifer Lopez of like the world. You know what I mean? Like, you're like the Shakira, the Shakira, the Beyonce, the Serena. Ooh, you guys got a king of wands. Man, okay, look at this guy is so fucking solid and huge. He'll pick you up like baby boy style and f like carry you and F you across the living room. If you guys never watched that movie, watch Baby Boy. And that's the exact way this guy's gonna fuck you across the living room. Like, it's crazy. I wish I chose this pile. 
because I'm getting some really big daddy energy from here. Zaddy, you got a hot Zaddy coming in and he's gonna, you guys are gonna snatch each other's souls over and over and over. Like I said, get a storage unit of plan B's <clears throat> and get on some really damn good birth control <laughs> if you don't wanna get pregnant because fuck, kids are forever and that's a huge commitment. You can't just put them in a closet and be like, hey, I'm gone for the day. Nah, fuck, that's like a 24 seven thing. Oh, and you're getting rewarded with this, my baby. Be oh, because look at you're represent. Oh, get out of here. You're represented like if you were a Pokemon, you would be like all the Pokemons, all the awesome Pokemons, which is Pikachu, Bulbasaur, and the water one. Okay, you would be all of the awesomest, awesomest together. Put oh my gosh, you guys, fuck off, guys. Get out of here. My favorite card in all of the tarot. This is like all about raindrops keep falling in. Like this is like all the happiness. This is like the marriage, the going off into the sunset in that beautiful horse driven carriage into your life and starting this beautiful life together. And just like so happy to the point where you don't even have social media. You just ride horses all day and you just sit out by the fire with your family and you laugh and you drink your tea. And it's like the life everyone's always prayed for is right there. Like you guys are getting the love of your life coming in right fucking away. Why? Because you guys have kissed all the frogs in the world. You guys have kissed all the frogs in the world. You're a Hollywood star. You help out millions of people, whether you know it or not, you help millions and you are being granted with this beautiful, gorgeous soulmate coming in. You'd kiss so many frogs, finished all your karmic love cycles. This guy, the last lover you had was your last frog to kiss. Wow, you guys, you guys have all the fucking best cards. Like you're represented as the high priestess and the empress, bitch. You just wrapped Mario World. Like you just wrapped fucking Grand Theft Auto. Like <laughs> you just wrapped everything. Like you are the boss. You beat Bowser's ass. Like, are you fucking kidding me? You're, how much more can I say congratulations? Like you are a highly evolved soul here to change the world, here to change millions. And that's why your next lover is going to be the best motherfucking match for you. And it's gonna be a high-end soulmate. And you guys, come on. The sun card is the most happiest, gorgeous card. You guys are going to have kids together. You guys are going to share DNA. Like I said, a lot, a lot of sexual lovemaking, a lot of traveling the world, a lot of lovemaking. Like look how fine his fucking ass is. Yo, if, yo, if a guy walked like this in the door, I'd, you know, it's like, ugh. You know what I mean? Like, shit, like, is it, like, jump his bone style. Like, oh my lord, you guys. Let's get some signs for who this fine-ass big daddy is here. You have a lot of men, though, coming in, because even right here is the king of swords. And woman. You have women, too, that are attracted to you. Yeah, you're a fine ass bitch. Ooh wee. So with this King of Wands, this big daddy dick here, he's re he's an Aries. There's an Aries. Aries love coming in. Wow, you guys. One more sign. Jupiter expansion. So Jupiter is in Sagittarius, you guys. So you Sag, someone who loves to travel. Jupiter, Sag, someone who loves spontaneousness and is just all about learning. Okay, let's check what other kind of signs your booth thing is. I'm so tired. First house, Aries. Okay, I'm just gonna shut it down there. Virgo. Yeah, Virgo, Aries coming in hella strong, of course, with this King of Wands, which we all like at Aries because they just are these big, strong fucking zaddies. Personally, I like Leos and Aries, and actually, I don't discriminate. But yeah, for sure, for damn sure, my top three are Leos and Aries because, like, I don't know, there's just something about them. They're just fine as fuck. So yes, my beautiful love, this is what's coming in for you. This beautiful new relationship. Why? Because you have reached the pinnacle, wrapped all the game, you have got this whole life thing down this whole life school down on this planet earth and honestly you wrapped it like it's a fucking wrap you're a professional at this whole earth realm okay that is why you're being blessed your next lover with this beautiful gorgeous soulmate twin flame love okay so keep a watch out for this big beautiful man who's going to dick you down like nobody's business but it ain't the guy you tapped on here for it's someone coming in brand new okay i love you so much my beautiful love i love you so much and i'll see you next time on beautiful love tarot